All right, this is my Harbor Freight X2 Mini Mill. I just bought it, to, or I just received it today. I ordered it about a week ago, so it shipped here pretty quick. And I figured um, since it's completely slathered in packing grease, I'd pull it apart and clean it. So, so far, so good. Castings don't look too bad. Don't see anything wrong with the ways. Everything looks nice and smooth, well adjusted. Well, <laughs> it's going to be well adjusted. Um, one problem I did find though is that this ring here, all three of these mounts, looks like they've been put in a little bit too um, tightly. There's a crack there, crack there, a crack there. But since I'm going to most likely replace that anyway, it's not a big deal. Um, haven't done any modifications to this thing yet. I'm not going to be able to afford to anytime soon. Oh yeah, here's down into the gearbox. There's those beautiful little plastic gears. Up there's... I don't know where I'm on right now. I'm in high gear right now, so down there's the high gear. And up there is the low gear. And you move that left and right. A little fork in between the gears right there. Right there's all got the goo on it. Slides that up and down that shaft. So, looks good in there. Um, I didn't see any grime or grit in there. It seems like it's the, the gears are adjusted, so I'm not pulling that apart. Oh, everything else held very nice. I'm gonna probably wipe these down with a dish towel with um, like a cotton dish cloth and um, acetone and then blow it out and then after that, lube it up with a lightweight oil put it back together and um, try drilling with it. I'm not going to mill till I have colettes. And this thing takes what, R8 colettes. By the way, in case you don't know how that all goes together, because I, I didn't have a clear idea before I bought this thing. Here's the drill chuck that comes with it. And it's on, this is this is an R8 colette. Or basically it's not a colette, it's actually all one piece, but you know what I mean. And up here, <clears throat> That's the drawbar bolted into it. And what that does is it bolts it into the column right there, tightens from the top, and pulls it in to that little taper right there, and it, and it tightens in. So a slitted colette, you put an end mill in there, and when you pull it back up, it's going to pinch it all together, and you'll have um, evenly um, supported um, end mills. So you don't have to worry about them shaking free like you would with a drill chuck. So well, yeah, a lot of people are modifying theirs. Well, they remove this. That's the tensioner, or the drawbar tensioner. A lot of people are putting a little pulley system inside here. This is the, the column, the dovetail column. And that allows them to put a longer <clears throat> track there, a rack and pinion, so that the head's got more travel. I guess it gains them about two inches. Uh, that swivel there I may just disable completely and put a steel plate behind there so it does not move so once it's trammed in that direction bolt it down and forget it I don't plan to use the angled feature since I'm just going to use angles in my clamping so yeah brand new vise or brand new milling machine got a vise on the way got a little tool makers vise little three inch by seven inch paid a whopping 60 bucks for it I'm excited to be able to true up my my work before that, I was using this King Sealy. Well, I can't say I was using it. I, I tried it. I didn't like the chatter and it didn't seem like I was doing the tool any good, so I stopped before I ruined the tool. So it's still a very good drill press. Very solid. As a matter of fact, some of the parts in the drill press are more burly than they are in this mill. I mean, if you could figure out a way to work in a dovetail column and a, um, change your spindle and taper, I mean, you'd be set. A little XY table phase two. I had to have to pull this apart. That's where I kind of got the confidence to pull the other ways apart of my milling machine. Um, and this works beautifully now. It was uneven, you know, like turned more difficult in one direction than the other. Or once you got along a track a bit, it would tighten up. So it's adjusted. Um, the bolts that hold this down to the to the nut, the the Acme screw, 
that was that had completely come loose on the inside so of course there's gonna be slop there man it's amazing it was doing anything the design of this is a little nicer it's got these that slide into these grooves so they're not really gonna go man, go too far even though there's um there's room for improvement as far as backlash goes though a lot of people just say work with the backlash I may end up doing that to begin with since I can't afford to do otherwise anyway this is my new mill um, in pieces soon to be put back together and I'll, um, I'll start videotaping that as soon as I'm done so it'll be part what two or three